What's up, folks? Who you talking to? I'm just sitting out here in the middle of the desert. It's gorgeous. I got a post to pick. Usually I wake up, it's still dark, uh, but I slept in a little bit. Like at 5.30 every day, I have the choice. Do I try to go back to sleep or do I get up? And sometimes if I go back to sleep, I'll wake up at 7. And so I did that this morning and uh, caught the sunrise just perfect. Awesome. I'm sitting here running a defrost because of the moisture on my windshield, trying to clear it so that I can drive out of here and go to a coffee shop. And I don't know, this guy's such a pain in the ass, but sometimes he's so cute. <laughs> right, buddy? Oh, watch this. He hates that. <laughs> Anyways, we spent the night out here and it was it was nice. I think I'm I might come back. It's supposed to be a full moon or whatever. You can't see there there's no uh light pollution out here. The moon was so bright last night that it was almost like, you know how old Western movies, they filmed it during the day, but then they just made it dark to look like it was nighttime? That's what it looked like for real last night. It, you could see the moon was casting a shadow. It has been for about a, a week, but the moon was casting a shadow. It was so bright out, you could see colors. Not very much, but you could tell the difference in things. Um, and I could have almost taken a picture with available light that was the light that was available so today is keto day 40 keto day 40 uh last night i'm not gonna lie last night i dreamt of uh cinnamon rolls or pancakes one of the two <laughs> one of the two so excuse me so, now it's a battle. Now it's a struggle. Uh, yeah, I can go five more days, hit my goal, and then what's gonna happen? I don't know. I think I still need to eat this way for a while. <laughs> um, but I don't know what's going on. Why I'm having this craving so badly, so much, so I don't know. Yesterday I took the I took uh, grass-fed beef patties. They made them at uh, Whole Foods. I was like, you know what? I wish they would make. I wonder if they'll make patties for me out of grass-fed beef because it's hard when you're out here in the middle of dirt and there's nothing to really, no picnic table, nothing. It's hard to, you don't wanna get your hands dirty because there's no water to wash your hands. Well, guess what, they already had grass-fed beef patties. Um, they're about a half a pound each. And I just salt and peppered them up and cooked them over the campfire, topped them with the avocado. And uh, that was good, that was a good supper. Cashews have been my go-to uh, because walnuts suck and macadamias are more expensive and of course my bra. Uh, so, keto, I think what's gonna go on with my ketogenic diet is I'm going to either go cyclic cyclical which will be five days on, two days off for me. Or I'm gonna go take a break, carb up, and then go see if I can go another 30 days at, uh, straight, strict. Uh, I 
I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of. I know. Uh, what's today's date? I might. I might do that. I might be able to because I know if uh, my buddy's graduation ceremony or not graduation for fuck's sake, uh, retirement ceremony is uh, St. Patrick's Day. Now, I, anytime I'm around him, uh, beer gets drank, food gets ate. So I know that around St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to. not be around optimal situation to be on a strict ketogenic diet so that's something to look forward to well, not look forward to but that's something that it's like a break right i can take a break then so i can take a break in five days get back on it and i can take a break then on saint patrick's day because i tell you i feel good i feel super lean um I gotta get a tape. I gotta get the tape measure out, wherever it is, dig it out of here somewhere, and measure my waist. Uh, it's really, I really need to do that because I know the numbers, and if I can, if it's down to like, if it's below 36 inches, I know that I've hit some new ground. Did I hit 36 before? I have to check my records. Other than that, uh, my window's defrosted. I have nothing new to say, really. I got my fourth review yesterday. It was pretty good, very thoughtful. Um, I, uh, my man, I've never met him. I, uh, he only listened to, heard me on a podcast one day and got my book, liked it, reviewed it. Um, And we've been in touch ever since via Twitter. <clears throat> so he liked me for my <coughs> hot sauce. He liked me for my nonfiction stuff, my my diet stuff, my nutrition stuff. Uh, so when I crossed over into into fiction, I didn't know what. He followed me. He followed me as I crossed over into fiction, read the book, and loved it. And so that's cool. And he left a good review. Um, the thing is, I have a ton of these books. My old, not old, but my nonfiction books about diet, about weight loss. I have a ton of these in this stupid van with me, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Um, because I, I. I'm not giving seminars and talks and stuff like that anymore. So I'm just carrying like here's books. <laughs> I already I got a bunch of my my novella with me, which I haven't even given away or nothing. Nobody really followed my contest. So. If you bought the uh, the electronic version of my novella and you want a signed copy. Uh, let me know. Leave a review and let me know. You leave a review and I'll send you a signed copy. That's it. What can I say? Peace out.